Right, I'm going to talk about procedures and kind of ways to make procedures more reusable, more general purpose. Okay, and I've got a procedure called Display List here, and I've got this note taking app. When the app begins, I kind of go grab my notes from the database and display them. And when the user enters a new item, I basically go through and, and re display the, the new list. Okay, so I've got this nice procedure that does that for me, but this procedure is not as general as it could be. Let's say I had a, my app had a bunch of other screens or whatever and I wanted to display other lists. This one's displaying this list of notes but maybe I have a list of users or you know, you know in most apps you've got all kinds of data right and I want a procedure that will display any list. You know, you'll notice this one displays only the note list. This, this procedure is very specific and I'm gonna make it more general. Okay one way to make it more general is to add a parameter. Okay, and you just click on the little blue mutation icon and I'm going to grab and add one input parameter. Okay, and by default it's named X, but I'm going to name it just list. Okay, so essentially I can say I want to send a list here and generically it's going to be named list. I want to get rid of this specific reference to note list. Okay, let's move this procedure over a little bit here. And instead of referring to note list, I'm going to refer to this parameter called list. All right. Now you'll notice when I added this parameter to display list, the calls to display list, all of a sudden a slot opened up. And what it's saying is, oh yeah, when, when you call display list, it's expecting you to actually send it the list that you want displayed. Okay. In this case, yeah, I want, I want to send note list to it, right? So I want to grab that guy and then I also need to uh, do the same thing in the other reference to it. Okay, so my code is doing exactly the same as it did before, but now in, when I call display list, I, I actually send it the list I want displayed. And in this case, both these event handlers are displaying the same list, the one called note list, right? But now I've got this procedure that I could use in elsewhere in my app, and I could send it a different list. 